We love it, rocking it up a little bit. We're going to talk about a bearded lifestyle for today. Uh, popularity of beards. This is Van Hansen's with me this morning. Uh, they seem to be like a fashion statement right now. Well, they are, but as we know, they've been around since the dawn of time. So, you know, certainly throughout evolution, they haven't gone anywhere. They haven't gone anywhere. No. But but now you're you're telling me that. It's really important as a man, if you're going to go and head and grow that beard, to take care of the beard. Absolutely. I mean, a, a lot of guys think that uh, without shaving, there's, there's no care, right? But when it comes down to it, when you stop shaving, there's other things that come into play. And, you know, some of those things are that it's going to get itchy. The skin underneath needs to be, you know, rejuvenated. And if it's not, it's going to get really itchy and irritable. Right. We have Dave over there that's showing yeah. an example of a really well-trimmed beard, a well-cared-for beard. You know, yeah. what, what does he do to make his beard look so good? Well, you know, essentially we've, we've got our lineup here, okay? Right. So it really does come down to a regimen okay. of, of your, you know, everything that you need to put in it. So it comes down to the shower, you know, there's, there's specific soaps and shampoos and conditioners because it is different hair. You want to really um, moisturize the skin underneath as well. So I can't use the same shampoo on my head? It's as not no? the same. Okay. It's not the same. The skin on our face is very sensitive, right? And that's that there. That's right. And we don't okay. want an oily residue. After the shower, what do After we do? After the shower, okay, we've got some oils here, okay, and mm -hmm. you can smell this one. Okay, that's a very, very nice new scent that we have. Oh, nice, um, yeah. Nice and refreshing with the eucalyptus. Right. Now, this stuff here is, is a beard oil, and that's going to get those nutrients back into our beard, keep it healthy, and also make sure the skin underneath is nice and, and supple, too. I guess you want the beard hairs themselves to be nice and soft. How do we make them soft? That's right. Well, when it comes down to it, it's just using these products on a regular basis. Okay, so without these products, especially in the winter, is when we're going to get those, those dry, bristly hairs. Okay, beard butter, what's that? Yes, so beard butter, thanks for asking. Beard yeah. butter is very similar to an oil, but it's more of a cream. Okay, okay. and when it comes down to it, the oil is going to be more of a, a nice, shiny, you know, glow you're going to get with, right. the, with the butter. You're going to get uh, more of a, a cream, so it is going to be more of a matte finish. Okay, so yeah. let's take a look at the butter itself there, too. Yeah. Is it sticky? Is it oily? No, How does not it feel? at all. It's just the same as you would imagine a hand cream. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then you got the beard balm over there. Absolutely. So what we can do here is we can get um, Dave here to put in a little bit of, uh, of oil here. Okay. And show you kind of how easy it is. It's really just a couple drops after the shower. Right. Okay. And work these in on a daily basis. And what's going to happen is you'll see already here it's 100% more soft. Okay. And th those oils are going to stay in there, but when you talked about the bombs here, mm -hmm. okay, what the bombs are going to do, and it's very important in the winter, is those are going to lock that moisture in. It's like a leave-in conditioner. The brush too, is it? Do you have to have a specialized brush for well, it? Or? Yeah, you'll see here, um, we've got um, a thin, or, or a wide tooth. I'm just going to hold yeah, it there for we've you. We've got yeah. a wide tooth and a thin tooth. So when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to take that, that fine tooth right to your beard right away, or else you're going to get some knots. It's not going to be too comfortable. Is it worth it? Sounds like a whole lot of work. It absolutely is. Because I'm a non-bearded guy. You've got to right. convert me now. Convert that's, me. That's right. So basically what happens is if you're not using product, it's going to get itchy. And, and most guys, what they're going to do is they're going to say, oh, it's so itchy, it's not worth it. And they're going to take it off. Are you getting more attention with the beard? I am. I am. D Dave, you are you? Yeah, give it a thumbs up. 50-50. <laughs> 50-50. Yeah, so that's a, there we have it, the bearded lifestyle. For more information, where do people go? Go to alwaysbearded.com. Um, and we'd also like to draw some attention to December Beard Canada as well, which is uh, an organization that we work with um, to raise awareness this month specifically um, for colorectal cancer, which is 90% curable if you're screened. So we do urge people to get out there and get screened for colorectal cancer okay. um, and stay healthy. We'll see if I have a beard after the holidays yeah. then. We'll see if I'm a converter. <laughs> Thank you very much for no coming in. Merry at Christmas, all, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Dave, so as well. Much. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television. I'm going to figure out whether I want to do this or not. <laughs> do I think I have enough time in the morning to do all? Oh, look. <laughs> oh, that's a good look. I like that. I'm doing it. <laughs>